What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest version of Python 3 on Windows 10. So it's real easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing you want to do is head on over to your favorite web browser and we're going to go to python.org which is going to look a little something like this. Now when you get to python.org there is a lot of stuff that you can actually explore but first we need to obviously download Python. So all you got to do is head over to this little downloads tab right here and it's going to recognize which operating system you are on. So we're on Windows. If you're on Mac it would say download for Mac. But this is the latest version right here. It's 3.9.2 as I'm recording this video. And it's also important to note that 3.9 plus cannot be used on Windows 7 or earlier. So you got to have at least Windows 8 in order to use this. But all you got to do is click on this button right here. And when you click on that, it's going to begin downloading the installer right down here. And it's not very large. It's about 27 uh, megabytes or so. But once this gets done, we can go ahead and just click on it to open it up. And we can go ahead and close out of our web browser while this opens up and it's going to bring up the setup window here. So uh, first thing I want to do is we want to make sure we click down here that says add Python 3.9 to path. That's very important. You definitely don't want to forget that. And it's going to have two options here. It says install now, which will just do all the default, you know, recommended setups and things. Uh, but you can also do a customized installation. Now, I personally like to do the custom installation, and the reason for that is this right here, uh, it kind of puts it in a location that I don't particularly like. Uh, it's quite a few folders you got to go through to actually locate the installation in case you need to. So, I always like to do custom install. So, if we click on that, it'll show you the things that it's going to install. This is all fine. You can just leave all this stuff checked right here. Then we click on next, and here's that uh, folder location right there. So uh, we can go ahead and change that. But before we do, uh, you can take a look at some of these advanced options here. So definitely want to leave these three uh, defaults here. Uh, if you have multiple users and you want to install it for all users, uh, then you can do that as well. So you can put install for all users. But in my case, uh, I don't have any other users so I'm not going to check that uh, and you notice when you hit install for all users it does pre-compile the standard library you can check that uh, if you want to uh, and you can also download debugging symbols and the debug binaries if you would like it's totally up to you on these three options right here uh, but for now I'm just going to leave uh, the default stuff here Okay, so the folder location, where do we want to put this? Well, we can hit browse and choose wherever we would like to. But what I'm going to do here is uh, we're just going to basically delete all of this right here. And we're just going to put it into the C uh, path here. Now, what this is going to do is in our C directory, uh, it'll put a Python folder and then inside that folder it'll put Python 3.9 which is this latest version here. Now it's kind of a good idea I think to have uh, a folder in case you want to install multiple versions of Python so maybe uh, you want to keep 3.9.2 but whenever point three comes out you may want to have uh, both of those. So you could do it like that or you could get rid of this right here and you could just have a Python 3.9 folder. But I'm going to leave it like this for now. Again, you put it wherever you want. You name it whatever you want. Uh, but that's where I'm going to put it. So once you get all this sorted out, you can hit install. And it'll go ahead and begin the installation process. You might get some pop-ups like this. You just want to hit yes. Totally fine. And it's going to go ahead and get everything installed for us. Alright so we're all done here it says our setup was successful. Now one last thing you can do is go ahead and disable that path length limit. You can go ahead and do that right now or you can do that later but I'm just gonna go ahead and do it uh, right now. You just click and hit yes and it is now disabled. 
So we can go ahead and get close and Python should be installed. So if we go down here to the start menu, you're gonna notice in your recently added uh, that you now have some Python things here. And I'll go ahead and show you all just real quick if we head into our file explorer. Then we can head into this PC and then our local disk. And you're gonna be able to see that folder that we created. So there's our Python folder. And if we go in there, there is Python 3.9. So uh, that definitely worked uh, when we installed it there. And this is where you can access everything uh, if you need to. Uh, that original installation point, uh, it would have been buried <laughs> in our C drive. So this is a much quicker way to access it. And that's why I like to uh, customize it uh, right there. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just, I guess we can go into command prompt and just to make sure that it's recognizing it, we can go on in there. So here we are in our command prompt window. Uh, you can go ahead and type in Python and then dash dash version. And it says Python 3.9.2. So it is recognizing it, so that is good. And if you want it to, uh, in the command prompt, all you do is type Python, and it actually puts you in to Python. So here you could start uh, writing a little bit of code. So we could say print, and we could do, well, let's do hello. Not hello world, but just hello. And there you go. So uh, that works, and you could even do something like, you know, 5 plus 7 is 12. So that's showing you uh, how to do it in the actual command prompt. But Python installs a uh, idle program here. And then you could also do uh, the shell as well if you wanted to. And then we could scroll down. I believe it was right here. There it is, Python 3.9. So uh, here's the shell right here. And then here's idle. So we can go into the idle real quick show you what that looks like so here it is uh, right here uh, so you can basically write some code and stuff in here as well we can see uh, print again here whoops don't hit enter before you're done typing uh, but we can hit hello man you can tell I'm a rookie I'm forgetting everything here print hello there you go so uh, that works as well and you can even save files and things so you could hit uh, save as and then uh, it'll save it as a python file and then lastly we can check out the actual shell so this isn't like a command prompt window i know it looks like it but uh, it's actually not so uh, you can take a look there you go so that's how you install python on Windows 10 and now you're ready to you know get you some kind of a you know Visual Studio or PyCharm or whatever you like and start doing some coding so that's how you do it uh, hope you all enjoyed thanks for watching I'll catch you on the next video